coach there on the, the sidelines? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, quite a bit. Uh, I've tried not to look at it. I mean, for, for one day it was cool, and then now it's on to the Panthers. So try to try to forget about it pretty quick. You made the top ten, you know. Yeah, I did not know yeah. that. Okay, well, now I do. Cool. <laughs> did you, I mean, that was, a, that was a play that if you don't make, it could have been an interception. Did you look back at it at all? Um, for me, in my mind, it was just the ball was in the air, and you know Baker put his trust, put it up in a spot where I could get it. So, um, you know, I try to go make those plays when I can. So that was just an opportunity for me to get a catch. Did he say anything to you? Uh, no, we we've joked around a little bit, but nothing. No. <laughs> okay. Just talking about the development that you've had, you know, now that you're deeper into the, your, your rookie season here. What's what's changed? What's made things maybe a little bit easier for you? Definitely, just kind of. Uh, doing the extra work, doing the little things, just kind of becoming a pro. Um, you know, I, I look at guys like Caden Co. and you know they're, they're still young; they're in their second year, but they've been through what I'm going through. And then all the other vets. I mean, we got amazing vets on this team that have been doing this for a long time. So just watching how they work, how they operate day to day, um, has been really good. And then meeting extra with my coach, staying late after practice with my coach, and just I tell myself every day just one percent better. So that's that's what I've been trying to really focus on and, and do. How much do you think you have improved since the beginning? I mean, that, that's hard to really quantify, but um, I definitely feel like I'm making strides in the right direction, and I'm looking forward to just really keeping my head down and keep doing that. I've heard Gronk and, and Tony Gonzalez talk about you know guys that are successful at the tight end position, that it really starts with blocking first, that it really opens the game for you. A lot, a lot of guys don't realize that as much until later in their career. Yeah, no, it's definitely, I mean, it's half the job. So. Uh, it's something that I've been really trying to focus on because, I mean, it's different now uh, in the NFL. I mean, these guys are getting paid a lot of money to rush the quarterback and try to get after the running back. So uh, something I've really been focusing on, something I can definitely continue to grow on, but uh, been been making strides to be better at it for sure. Yeah, they were saying that it kind of opens the game as a receiver for you, but if you, the blocking comes first. Yeah, no, definitely. Just uh, in the play-action world, um, you, you can sell a lot of stuff there and, and, you know, find those quick hitters at the seams and stuff. Thanks, Payne. Yeah, that's, I mean, that just speaks to who he is as a person, really. I mean, we all know that, but just how tough he is, what he's been through and what he's overcame. I mean, it, it was really not a shock to anyone. Just that's that's who he is on the inside. So that's how it comes out on game days. Thanks, Wade. Thanks, guys. Appreciate